Oh man, I love watching this NXT episode tonight. Johnny Gargano lost the North American Championship to Leon Ruff. No, I didn't stutter. Leon Ruff. This is the guy in Leon Ruff who, for a few months, was like the designated main roster jobber during those pandemic era shows in the Performance Center. That Leon Ruff. You may know him, you may not. That's Leon Ruff. Not Leo Rush. Le uh, Leon Ruff. There we go. This guy... A complete shock upset. They open the show, the NXT episode tonight, November 11th, 2020, with the North American Championship being defended. Johnny Gagano span a wheel of challenges, and it came out to be Leon Ruff. Johnny is all arrogant. He's like, oh, I got this match easily. Leon Ruff hits him with a crucifix roll-up and then pins him. So, I kid you not, Leon Ruff pins Johnny Gagano and wins the North American Championship, which... Well, I, I was like out and about today. I wasn't watching this live. So I see this on my phone. I see the pictures of Leon Ruff with the title. I'm thinking, what in the hell is this? Then I go home, I watch it myself, and I'm just laughing. I, this is hilarious. This is fantastic. Okay, I've seen people on, on Wrestling Instagram, which Wrestling Instagram's a, 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 a platform which not many people really go to, but it's not the best platform. But you know, I see people on Instagram having legitimate freakouts on Twitter as well, but Instagram especially, people saying, oh my God, I'm done watching NXT. How dare they disrespect Johnny Gargano like this? This is an NXT legend and disgrace him this way. I find it hilarious. For one, Leon Ruff, it, you know, a few months back, liked one of my tweets, Johnny Gargano has me blocked. So just in that regard, I find this great. Leon Ruff beats Johnny Gargano to win the NXT North American Championship. That is hilarious. Johnny Gargano lost the North American Championship after holding it for, what, two weeks? He lost it to Leon Ruff. Leon Ruff! I, oh, that's fantastic, dude. Shout out to Triple H, shout out to Shawn Michaels, Road Dog, whoever else involved in making NXT. That was fantastic. Seeing Johnny Gargano lose the title like that, that was just flawless. I love that. Johnny Gargano, where he goes from here, presumably he has a match with Damian Priest, or he has a rematch with Leon Ruff. In, if he has a rematch with Leon Ruff, what, is he just going to win the title back? I mean, I guess he can, but... At that point, all you're doing is trying to pad the number of reigns Johnny Gargano has. Like, Johnny losing this match is just hilarious. People saying, oh, he's buried. Uh, like, listen, Johnny Gargano was ruined the moment he turned turned heel at TakeOver Portland and became a simp with Candice. That, that was the moment Johnny was forever ruined because as, as you know, as moderate credibility he had before that, being the, the TakeOver specialist, Johnny TakeOver, having 30-minute TakeOver matches every week, then, um, every TakeOver, then losing, as much credibility as he had then as Babyface, when he turned heel and became a house husband simp and then blocked me on Twitter and blocked a bunch of people on Twitter, when he became that, he lost all credibility. So I find Leon Ruff beating him to win the North American Championship to be appropriate. It's funny. I just get around it. That's great. Leon Ruff. Is the twenty is the North American Championship twenty four seven title North American same thing the belts mean about the same at this point so yeah Leon Ruff wins the North American title I love that so that was the main thing to care about in this week's NXT the rest of the show we had two other title matches so in total this week we had the North American title the cruiserweight title and the tag team title defended on on NXT which in other words that means wrestling Twitter and a bunch of people are going to say oh my god this show was stacked and it's like oh. We saw Lorcan and Birch versus Breezango. Oh, wow. Oh, we saw Santos Escobar versus Jake Atlas. Oh, amazing. What a stacked match. I love watching two cruiserweights, one of which in Jake Atlas, we barely have a backstory or a reason to care for. And the other one being Santos Escobar, who's clearly better. Uh, who, who doesn't love watching them wrestle for 15 minutes when you know Santos Escobar is going to win anyway? Who doesn't want to see that? So... Yeah, we had a Cruiserweight title match tonight. Santos Escobar got the win in that one. We also had this match here. Candice LeRae versus Tony Storm. The whole story with this, well, there was a backstage segment where Shotzi Blackheart was complaining about how Candice LeRae destroyed her tank last week, which goes to show, I didn't even mention that in last week's review, but apparently it's a big deal that Shotzi Blackheart got her, like, mini tank broken by Candice LeRae. I guess that's a big deal, so... Candice LeRae beat Tony Storm. After the match, there's some shenanigans. Okay, Candice LeRae got the win. Cool. Okay. You know, it, it is what it is. I don't really care overly, so that was good. As far as other, other stuff in this show, we had Zaya Lee versus Raquel Gonzalez, which, I mean, is what it is. Like, I don't really care. So that happened. We had some stuff with Timothy Thatcher against 
was it Dexter Loomis? I think it might have been Cameron Grimes. I, I wasn't even paying attention at this point. Pretty much the main thing I care about in this show, and the main thing you should care about, is the fact that Johnny Gargano lost the North American Championship to Leon Ruff. How good is that? But nah, Timothy Thatcher versus Dexter Loomis. That was the match we got, just remembering now. The match was fine. It was the thing I enjoyed third most on the show. Like, number one, I enjoyed Johnny losing the title in three minutes to a jobber. Number two, I enjoyed the main event, particularly the ending, where we had the kings of NXT, Pat McAfee stable, with Lorcan and Birch successfully defending the tag team championships against Bree Zango. This was a decent match, the tag team title main event. If you didn't see the main event, I guess it's alright, nothing really to see, I mean it was fine for what it was, so that was fine. Then obviously in the end Lorcan and Birch got the win, afterwards we had the, these shenanigans where Drake Maverick gets involved and then in the end McAfee and his stable, the Kings of NXT get the win, um, like stand tall, so NXT goes off the air with them standing tall as people are booing, so that was NXT for November 11th, 2020, Veterans Day, Remembrance Day, whatever you call it in your native country. Um, you know, paying respect to all, all the veterans who have fought and served for, you know, respective countries and whatnot. All cool. So, yeah, that was NXT. Overall, I mean, the opening was, like, shocking and really exciting. I, I enjoyed it. I find, I find watching Johnny Gargano lose the North American Championship to be hilarious. I just loved it. So, that was really good. The rest of NXT was, it was fine. Candice LeRae and Tony Storm was a, was a good match. I thought it was a fine match. Next week, we're seeing uh, Io Shirai versus Rhea Ripley. The NXT Women's Championship got a prime target, like, special thing for that, so that was fine. We're also getting Finn Balor live next week, so hopefully they do something interesting, something compelling there. I don't know where they're going to go with Balor, considering the last time we saw him was TakeOver 31, which was, what, five weeks ago now? It's nearly, it's only six weeks, because he's been out with the injured jaw, so yeah, that's been the NXT review. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, so he's on a drill. See ya.